Good morning, y'all. This is Old Country, and I'm going to be honest, I just woke up. <laughs> it is currently 10-12, and you're like, whoa, dude, you just woke up? Yeah, long night of work. I had to work at night, and yeah, it was, it was a long shift, and I kind of only got like five hours of sleep last night. So, But we're here now. We're going to talk about the last of the animal reveals, and we got three of them today, and well, one of them we already knew, but we're going to read it anyway, and that is starting off with the platypus. And Planet Zoo Game says, despite making a name for themselves in popular culture for their hat modeling, platypuses are actually shy-natured. For them, self-care means alone time. These solitary creatures can be often found relaxing underwater, diving for up to 10 minutes at once. And yes, the reference is obviously to the Perry the Platypus character from Phineas and Ferb. I think we all know that. That doobie doobie dooba doobie doobie do, Agent P thing. So, what can I say? Um, it looks really good. Uh, all the animals in this pack have really good f fur shading. Well, besides, I mean, the crane doesn't have fur, but all the animals that do have fur have really good fur shading in, in the pack. Um, the, the bill... The duck bill looks really good. It has really good textures. I I don't know what else to say. The the feet look really good. We've seen it underwater. Now we see it kind of on land. One issue I see some people talking about is it has this really weird kind of like a little bit of a elongated neck. And usually when you look at the platypus, it has really no neck. Like the head is more attached to the the top of the body. It doesn't really have this kind of like arch right here so but i have seen images that i, I did research on google where it, it does look like this so i'm wondering if it's just depending on the position of the platypus because i'm not expert on platypus so i'm wondering if it's really just the position of the platypus that makes it look like it has this like a, a bit of a, a longer neck or an art like a bigger arch in its back but usually when you see like images of the platypus underwater and stuff it's kind of like all connected and there are images or vi and video in the trailer the little teaser they gave us uh, about a week ago of it, where it looks more just like one solid body piece connected with the head instead of this kind of arch thing so I'm, I'm just i'm interested in um just uh when the platypus why it's so defined this arch is so defined and um I'm interested to see uh, their take and their um, inspiration off of designing the platypus. I know they are they're, they are friends with the San Diego Zoo, so I'm wondering if they actually m maybe sent people over to the San Diego Safari Park and researched the platypus and got video of it live or went backstage or something. It's going to be very interesting to see how they got the material to do the platypus. So uh, I'm really curious to see th this guy move in game and, and see all of his animations and stuff. But really cool. Really cool. Um, next, we have our exhibit animal, which looks stunning. This is for yeah the exhibits or vivariums, uh, as some people are calling them. Um, it's crazy looking. I, I didn't know what this was, so I had to research it, and um, I'll, I'll pronounce it in a second from my what I researched, so I, hopefully I'm saying it right. It's just what I, I, I was listening to a little documentary thing on YouTube about this guy, because I had no idea what it was before they announced it. So uh, They're the smallest of our animal stars, but don't underestimate the Danube crested newt that's what i heard it they said danube named after the danube river i guess in europe so these exhibit animals love a makeover with the male's appearance changing a lot during mating season growing the, both their crest and tail why not try something new with your look too um yeah these guys are actually crazy and apparently the males spend pretty much all their lives underwater and it's clear to see that the they are Get to spend most of their time underwater in in game as well, and um, you don't fool me. That's the new Spinosaurus update. Yeah, that's the first thing I said. I said I. It looks like a Spinosaurus. It literally has a spine, but it, don't get yourself fooled. It's no reptile. This this is all uh, 
This is all Newt. It's all amphibian. I believe Newt's amphibians. I really hope they're amphibians. <laughs> like, like I said, I, I, I mean, they have to be amphibians, right? I mean, look at them. They, they look like, they look like a weird version of a tadpole, you know, little feet and stuff. These are some of the craziest animals. And Frontier nailed the design. They got like all these stripes and stuff. The eyes look good. As far as exhibit animals go, and how for how small these guys are their textures you know exhibit animal textures are usually lesser than the um habitat animals but the textures on this guy are insanely detailed and i don't know what else i can say they're pretty cool so and our last animal that was revealed today is actually stunning and it really surprised me it's the uh nile leshway and this is the male version of the Leshway. We don't see the female yet. This is the male Leshway, and oh my gosh, did they nail the beard texturing. This looks great. Everything else looks good too, but this the one thing I had a little bit of a concern about is this beard texturing, and they nailed it. So let's read what they have to say about the Leshway. Rounding off our showcase, come on, dude. <laughs> Rounding off our showcase is the Nile Leshway. These antelope truly highlight our previous tips, sexual dimorphism for varied style, and a fun and healthy diet of water plants and rice, keeping fit by making a splash in the water. They really know how to show us how it's done. These guys are really interesting animals. Um, animals that have been quite elusive all my life until I went to the... I believe it was Zoo Tampa that had them in their Savannah, their Africa section. I don't know why it was Savannah, but I, I think it was Zoo Tampa. It, it, I, I do think it was Zoo Tampa that had the, that had the Leshway. So um, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm not. But anyway, the yeah, these guys are stunning. They got the the that kind of goat eye that it looks really good. Um, the fur quality is amazing. Their their um horns, wow, just look wow, and um in every way that I don't like the ibex because I I well, I like the ibex, but I think the ibex had a little bit of a fur shader issue. I'm not I wasn't a fan of of exactly how they they shaded the ibex, but this guy is in every way that I didn't like the ibex. I love this guy, and this guy is a top. Uh, I've said this about pretty much every animal in this pack, which is really, it's going to be really hard to, to rank this pack with, because of the tier list video I made. I don't, I don't know where I could possibly put this because every single animal in this pack looks stunning. So it's really going to come down to, you know, how they are in game. But so far, if I was rating it on looks, this pack's 10. It's a 10 out of 10. It is definitely... It just it holds the best looking animals in game. Out of all the packs we've gotten, every single animal in this pack looks stunning. And the Nile Leshway rounds off our showcase, looking amazing with that beard texturing with that it has on on its neck and face. And if this is what the male looks like, I'm I'm certain. I'm certain the female looks really good too. And I I really am impressed with Frontier right now. I am beyond excited for this pack now i started off hesitant to now a few days away from the pack finally getting our final animal reveal with the, with the nile leshway and i am ecstatic i i cannot wait to get my hands on this pack i cannot wait to show you what i've been cooking up there are going to be plenty of videos it's going to be a really fun time tuesday uh 5 a.m cst is going to be a real fun, fun time. And speaking of fun times, um, we're going to, uh, we're obviously, um, after I upload my videos on Tuesday, we're going to have a, we're going to also have a fun time. We're going to tune into uh, the Cappy Cam charity stream. I'll be probably busy on YouTube at 11 a.m. for the, well, I'll probably miss this, but I'll probably tune in. So what, that would be 5 a.m. CST for me. Yeah, I'll be busy. So 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably be able to tune in 7 a.m. Uh, CST 1 p.m. BST for the Capybara Keeper Talk, and then uh, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11. So I'll I'll have to leave for work around this time, 
probably halfway through the black and white rough lemur i'll have to leave so i won't be able to catch the meerkat red panda or the wetlands animal pack with developers part two i won't be able to catch half of this in the last three things but i will be i will i will be here for the wetlands animal pack showcase um I'll also put uh, a showcase on my a channel. I have a I have a YouTube short uh, that I'm gonna do, and I'm not talking like I have the pack early. I don't. I don't. They didn't. They didn't send it to me or anything. I, like I told you guys. Like I told y'all. Um, I I have like 263 subscribers. Thank you very much. I woke up to 263 today. I had 262 yesterday, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I I'm pretty much no one right now, <laughs> and I you know. I don't, I know some people are, are asking me in one of the videos, like, did they send you it early? Is that why you're not doing like speed builds? No, I just, I've been busy. <laughs> so I'll, I have the, I have a few habitats ready. So what I do is I, I, I build the habitats ahead of time. And then when the animals come out, I put the animals in quickly, record my thoughts as if I've had the animals forever. <laughs> and I uh, put out the video and call it the habitat speed build. That's what I did for, um, north america and stuff so and it worked out because my north america habitat speed builds are my most popular ones so um yeah i've got a i've got a quite uh quite a few uh lined up for you for y'all and i think you're gonna really love them so uh, aardvark keeper talk wow yeah no one's that one when's the aardvark aardvark yeah i'll be around for the aardvark so yeah um yeah definitely tune into this uh if you got even if you got a dollar you know I know a lot of people are kids, so if you're kids, don't donate without your parents' uh, consent and stuff like that. But, like, if you're an adult like me, like, just chip in at least a dollar, you know, uh, help out some animals. You know, there's some pretty cool animals that that in here, like, um, money probably will go to, like, black and white rough lemurs or just lemurs in general. And um, money will probably go to, like, red pandas and stuff like that because, like, to my knowledge, capybaras are least concerned. Asian small cloud otters are least concerned. Meerkats are definitely least concerned. But yeah, anyway. Um, with that being said, we'll just leave it on the um, Nile Leshway. I almost said Niala. <laughs> we'll leave it on the Nile Leshway. And I thank you all for watching. Uh, have a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you with the moose speed build tonight. So yeah, have a good day. Uh, have a good rest of your day, y'all.